right, Hyper Spinners, uh, the moment you've been all waiting for. Uh, we're going to be talking through uh, Main Menu Changer. Uh, so just to refresh our memory, um, Main Menu uh, Changer allows you to have a nested hyperspin uh, wheel. Uh, I'll go ahead and demonstrate that uh, quickly here again. random intro video uh, that we talked about in a prior video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip through this. You'll hear hyper speech, which we'll talk through uh, another video spin. here in a uh, couple days. Pick any old school system from the wheel and get ready to travel back in time. All. Choose from a list of all systems supported regardless of category. Game on. All right, so remember the nested Classic wheel we arcade. talked about uh, the other day? Uh, this is what we're going to uh, get set up. I'm going to go ahead and supply some uh, media uh, wheels as well as videos. Uh, in a later uh, video, you kind of saw my desktop there. I'll show you how to hide that Let's as well, but I didn't want to mess with that um, during the, the tutorial um, here. I'll explain why. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, back out of so Hyperspin here. Uh, gone to my desktop because I didn't uh, hide the switch, which is fine. Introducing this Hyper is for the tutorial. All right, so I'll explain uh, why you were seeing the uh, supported regardless of cat the actual screen here. Um, uh, main menu changer basically um, updates your main menu XML. Um, and while you're seeing the loading screen, um, there's a setting that allows you to uh, essentially kill the uh, background. Uh, so you'll see just black, so you'll, you'll never see any sort of flashing. Um, I prefer that that's not on, uh, just because when I'm you know, on the arcade, I don't have windows up, and this is what you see on my desktop. So it's the same... Uh, background is what uh, the transition is on the main menu changer uh, so that's why I choose not to um, and the only other uh, issue might be um, if you do kill the uh, uh, the tray um, you know if there's any sort of freezing or you've got to kill hyperspin then you essentially just have to restart your computer um, I personally just don't like to mess with that and I just leave uh, the kill switch off essentially um, and from time to time you might see that transition but uh, if you don't have any other windows in the background open uh, you'll never actually run into that um, so I purposely uh, showed you guys that um, because that, that is one of the uh, downfalls to all this but outside of that it's absolutely awesome and it's uh, pretty easy to set up uh, once you uh, understand uh, how it all works um, so uh, step one here, uh, basically we're just going to hyperspin and the uh, app is called main menu changer 0012 beta 3. When you go to download the file, uh, this file is no longer supported. Um, it was created back in 2016. Um, so just, you know, heads up, uh, the support's not there and that's uh, why I'm creating this video. Um, so if you click the download uh, file, you're going to see a lot of versions here. We're going to get the newest version here, which is that main menu changer 0012 beta 3. Uh, just go ahead and download the file. And I'll go ahead and minimize this. Uh, once you've downloaded the file, uh, we're going to put this in our hyperspin root uh, folder. And here's my folder here, main menu changer. Uh, the spelling uh, I don't think really matters, uh, but you know, take it for what it is, uh, main menu changer. I'm going to open that up. Um, what I'll do is I'll supply uh, everything in here um, outside the actual apps, just in respect of the author of the application. Uh, but you'll have all the examples of the INIs, um, which are important, and you can just change the paths. Um, We've got this loading uh, GIF file. Um, I created this uh, because I wanted that background to match the desktop background that I have. Uh, the default is just a black background with a spinning wheel. Uh, I will include that as well. 
So let's get started. Um, all you've got to do is open up main menu changer, which you're going to do this. And there's a whole mess of buttons here to choose from. The reason why that is is because the main menu changer uh, essentially deletes your main menu uh, XML and replaces it with the proper one based on the nested wheel that you're looking at. Uh, so when you're looking to edit uh, and you're not really sure of what you're really doing, whenever you're editing uh, rocket launcher uh, items or Hyper HQ, you're going to open up main menu changer instead and you're going to select uh, you know, edit game systems uh, for Hyper Launch or uh, Hyper HQ. It's going to open up the same app. All it's doing is it's uh, loading the proper XML uh, file uh, so you can you know, see the slew of options that you're used to just with all the systems. But I'm going to kind of give you some shortcuts here. Uh, you don't need all that fancy stuff. Uh, so all we've got to do is go up to Run Wizard again. Uh, well, yeah, you want to see Run Wizard again. When you open it, you're going to get a message that looks like this. And it's basically just saying, hey, your main menu uh, XML is going to essentially de delete itself and repopulate uh, as you are uh, using Hyperspin. And long story short is if you ever kill Hyperspin uh, incorrectly, then your main menu, uh, you know, your main menu XML might be deleted. So it's important that you back up the main menu uh, XML. Uh, but outside of that, um, you know, just close Hyperspin like you normally do, and you don't have any uh, problems. Uh, I will admit this is probably the uh, icing on the cake for your system. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend starting with this feature. Uh, you really want to have a good grasp of uh, the Hyperspin setup uh, so you know how to, to navigate and how to troubleshoot uh, this correctly here. But it's really not that bad, guys, so I'm going to hit OK. Uh, you'll have the same experience on the first try, and you're going to get this uh, window. Uh, in the prior window, uh, you saw the wizard run wizard button and the settings button. In the top right corner, they do the exact same thing. You're going to go to straight to this screen, and you're going to uh, go ahead and select uh, the options. Um, I will say also, if you are messing with the main menu changer and you decide that you want to add a new category to your uh, nested wheel, uh, say you want, you know, arcade classics or something as your, you know, new nested wheel uh, option, you're going to want to run the wizard again, uh, just like what we just did here. And you're going to want to update the metadata, which it automatically does that when you hit save. And when you hit save, it'll say, you know, your, your metadata has been updated and that's all that we care about because we want to see those uh, effects uh, happen uh, within your Hyperspin setup. Uh, also, once I, I know I'm uh, kind of talking through uh, random things here, but I think it's important. Uh, once you've uh, added a category, um, you know, on a whim, uh, when you open up Hyperspin, you're not going to see that category actually display until you close Hyperspin and then reopen it. Uh, again, this is just uh, refreshing the cache, if you will, um, and everything's working correctly. So just remember whenever you're using uh, main menu changer, you're adding categories, you're going to always update uh, your set, uh, your system uh, by going to settings and uh, you know hitting save here. Uh, you're going to see that this uh, MMC mode uh, defaults back to zero. Um, what we care about is mode three, um, and uh, you'll just open up Hyperspin um, again, and then close it, and then you'll see it on your second time. I know that's a lot of rambling, but I, it's it's good information. So. To finish this configuration, you're going to double click uh, these invisible windows and we're going to select uh, three. Three is basically allowing you to push the back button um, on your uh, controller to back up um, into a different wheel level, uh, just like you normally would um, in the original Hyperspin setup. Uh, the normal mode and the sub wheel modes uh, essentially create a new wheel that says go back. Uh, it's kind of not uh, intuitive. 
uh, you know, say you have 50 wheels in your system, you would have a 51st wheel that would say back, and you'd have to go hunting for that to go back uh, the prior wheel. Uh, I would recommend number three. Uh, that's what I've got set up. Um, outside of that, um, everything else is going to be the same here. Uh, you're going to select uh, false for HC close. You're going to set up your hyperspin path, your main uh, menu database path, which is your just database folder, main menu, uh, your loading screen, that's going to be what I supplied and talked about earlier with the background. You're going to hit true. Uh, you can put text on there. Uh, I don't recommend it, but you can. Uh, also, the GIF loading, uh, I've got it set to 1280 by 720. You might have to play around with that uh, based on your resolution of your computer, but that is what the GIF file is set up for. So, uh, sorry, but uh, also enjoy. <laughs> also, you want the intro uh, for Hyperspin to be on, and the search hack um, I didn't find useful, so I kept it as false. And the reason why it's not useful is because I've got this uh, hypersearch, which we'll talk through a, a later video. Hypersearch just allows you to search for anything on your system. It's a third party app. It's amazing. I strongly recommend it. And you want to set up your settings path here. Uh, all this is baked in your hyperspin setup. You guys are already familiar with this stuff. Uh, your exit app, uh, this is going to be in your main menu changer, uh, you know, the file that you just downloaded and you unzipped, there's something called MMC exit. You're just going to select that as your path. Uh, it's here. Uh, you don't have to do anything outside of that. And then we've got a couple other options. We've got the restore explorer. I've got uh, set as false. Uh, this is what I was kind of showing you guys earlier. So when you've got Hyperspin open, if you've got multiple windows kind of floating in the background, which you guys normally wouldn't if you were just playing your arcade, uh, you know, you might see um, these windows that are open in the background uh, from time to time. Uh, it can lose focus sometimes, uh, but not always. But just know that if you select uh, true here, what will happen is uh, they'll be kicked on a black background which will lay over any apps that are open on the background. You'll still see your beautiful uh, loading GIF um, that I was showing you still, but uh, one fair warning, if you do set this to true, the Restore Explorer, um, you know, you've got a chance of, you know, a black screen always caked on top of your desktop until you restart your computer. So uh, you'll have to, uh, you know, uh, re, um, upload your uh, desktop image because it will remain black. It just kind of, uh, you know, plays around with the wallpaper change. Uh, so the wallpaper change would also be true and the Restore Explorer would also be true if you decided to go that route. But I didn't like it. I kept it as false for both uh, because you never know what will happen. And I can live with, uh, you know, some floating, you know, windows if I forgot to close them. Um, what else? Everything else is pretty much default here. Um, we've got uh, various paths. Uh, again, the wallpaper path, uh, it's, it's here. Uh, you, you know, it's all by default. It's part of the package. Your hyperspin or your hyper HQ path you'll set, your hyper launch you'll set. Uh, you'll also, I recommend having a note plus or notepad plus plus uh, because you'll find as you are going through the wizard, when you hit save, you'll then um, want to edit your categories uh, in your XML. And the biggest thing here is your XML has to be right. Uh, anyone that's, you know, in that line of work, uh, XMLs just don't work unless they're 100% perfect. So this app is counting on no XML errors. Uh, so Notepad++ can uh, point out those errors. Uh, I also recommend uh, just searching on Google um, just uh, searching for uh, XML uh, check and there's a slew of online apps uh, online that you can just paste in your XML entirely and it'll point out your errors as well. But Notepad++ Plus Plus does the job uh, just as well, if not better. Uh, and you'll just fix them as uh, you will. You'll see some um, you know, red highlights of errors, but 
If you follow the tutorial, you won't have any errors and you'll have a great example uh, by yours truly. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. This is literally all there is to it um, in terms of the setup. Uh, saving mode three. I'm gonna hit save, it says setting saved. And then it's gonna uh, give you a host of other uh, windows. It's basically saying I've backed up uh, your uh, settings uh, uh, folder essentially here. Uh, and also the all XML, which I'll be talking about here in a, a, a moment or two. Uh, this is sort of the bread and butter of how it all works. Uh, so I'm gonna hit okay. And then it's, here's the add metadata. That's what we're talking about when we're adding new things to the uh, nested wheel. We're just going through the settings and we're updating, um, hitting save um, to what we just did. So here's Notepad++, what we were just talking about. You know, if there were errors, um, you know, this would point them out. Um, you see the, the bridge here that goes all the way down. If there were any broken bridges, you know there's an error somewhere. Um, so the, the thing here would be red. Um, and yeah, so there's no errors. So I'm gonna just X out of that. It's just checking things and then it's wanting to open uh, the main menu again here. So you can go through editing the XMLs all you want uh, through this, um, but you know, you can just close out and follow the rest of this tutorial. I will also say um, you don't have to always open up main menu changer and edit things through HyperHQ and HyperLaunch HQ. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, if you're trying to modify the main menu nested wheel, so I, I've got an arcade wheel and a pinball wheel, uh, you know, those highest parent wheels, uh, the only way you're going to be able to edit those uh, those categories are through HyperHQ and HyperLaunch here. Uh, so if you're editing your other uh, wheels or systems, uh, you don't have to go through this. You just go through the normal route of your Icon, HyperHQ, uh, or uh, Rocket Launcher uh, like you normally would. So I'm going to go ahead and exit that because I'm going to give you all the shortcuts here. Uh, even though we're talking about a 20 minute video, sorry guys, but it's worth it. Uh, so I'm going to back up. That's all you need to know about the main menu changer. Um, next, we've got uh, some settings. Uh, so this is where it gets a little uh, weird here uh, because it's something that uh, the standard uh, hyperspin does not uh, really have an example of. So all these nested uh, wheels that you're going to have, I've got arcades up here at the top and then uh, SNK all, so it's got all the SNK um, systems in one wheel. So you're going to see that all of the nested uh, INIs, uh, you're going to have a path, you're going to have the XE of the main menu changer XE, and then the parameters. This is where it gets a little weird. Um, you guys aren't used to it. Uh, neither was I. This is the hardest part of setting it up. Uh, so you're going to write underscore XML underscore and then the name of your category. Uh, if you want multiple uh, things to be considered, uh, under the parameters, again, uh, we've got uh, manufacturer, so sort of like a genre, if you will, uh, equals SNK or underscore underscore uh, genre utility. Uh, so that allows you to uh, pull out all systems that are associated with genre utility as well as manufacturer of SNK. Uh, you'll see that in a, a little bit here. Uh, PC game, you're going to set as true, win state hidden, and hyper launch false. Uh, so that is all you're going to do for the settings bit. Uh, you will have to uh, set those up uh, to get those parameters working uh, nicely for you. Uh, we're almost done, guys. Uh, so we're at databases. You're going to go down to main menu uh, here. And first thing that you're going to want to do is back up your uh, main menu. You know, as you can see, um, this is not the actual main menu that you guys are used to. This is a backup of my categories. Um, the main menu that you guys are used to in Hyperspin is essentially going to be all XML. So this is what you guys are used to right now. Um, you, you don't have the metadata uh, like the utilities, the year, genre. Uh, Hyperspin doesn't really support that on the main menu, but uh, main menu changer does. But you can see this is a list of all systems uh, that you guys have in your main menu currently. 
So before you get started, just you know, copy main, main, main menu XML, and then just put it in a folder. I've got a couple backups here based on different versions. So once you've done that, then we're going to uh, open up the categories XML. And what this does is when you launch Hyperspin uh, and you've got this set up, this categories XML essentially uh, overrides this main menu XML. And that's how you see the nested wheel like we were just showing you at the beginning of the video. Um, as you go through the layers of the XML, um, the menu, main menu will essentially change. And that's how you, you see the, the glory of it all. Uh, but that's uh, pretty technical for you guys, but it is important to know what's happening. So if that main menu ever uh, deletes, then all you've got to do is create another main menu, open up categories. The categories XML will never delete itself. Uh, so just copy that and paste it back into the main menu XML if things get screwy um, or if it hangs in a specific nested wheel because you shut down incorrectly. Uh, but you guys won't do that. I know you won't because I don't. So uh, let's look at the categories. So this is what made sense to me. Uh, we've got the all and notice the XE equals true. Uh, that will be important on some of this stuff. Uh, but again, all the XMLs have to be 100% perfect. So I've got arcades, consoles, uh, handhelds, computers, fan made playlists. These are specific to games. So if you want you know, all the Mega Man games across all systems, I've got playlists uh, that have a Mega Man wheel. Uh, pretty seamless. Uh, that's for another tutorial, though. Uh, different topic. Uh, we got pinball magazines, media, so movies, what what have you, by manufacturer. So if you want all the SNK systems on one wheel, that's where you're going to be going. Favorite systems, so that's uh, personal favorites, and Bliss Box. Um, so in, in some of my comments, someone was asking about what the Bliss Box wheel was all about. Uh, for a later video, I'll d demonstrate, but. Uh, Blissbox allows you to plug in a controller uh, into an, a USB and it's connected to an HDMI and it plays just like an old school controller. It is an old school controller, it's just on your PC. Uh, and on Blissbox, you've got to press a couple buttons. Uh, this wheel essentially automates that so I can put the Blissbox in my console or my uh, arcade cabinet and not have to open anything up to, to go and push the reset buttons as I switch things out. Um, I just plug in the controller and, and play. Uh, Hyper Search, um, this is where it gets a little funny here. Uh, Hyper Search, uh, there's a workaround here. It took me a long time to figure out, but uh, Hyper Search would only search on the current wheel with the main menu changer. Uh, but I got around that um, by some craftiness. Um, so as you can see, we've got Hyper Search equals true. You're gonna see underneath here, it says enable Hyper Search. So it allows you to search uh, on any of the nested wheels uh, because you're essentially calling those systems out, but they're uh, disabled because that's how HyperSearch works. So I've got enabled equals zero. Uh, I essentially copied my, my uh, Hyperspin main menu, if that makes sense. So it's all my systems. Uh, I just put in there and then I uh, you know, did the laborious task of selecting and pasting enabled equals zero, you know, 200 times or whatever it was. Uh, but it, it's worth it in the end, right guys? Um, so that, that's what that hot mess is uh, below. This is just allowing you to search for any systems. And I left the uh, manufacturing here. Um, I, I'm not currently using it because I don't have wheel art for that and I hide the uh, wheels that I don't have wheel art, which is far and few between. Uh, but that is it guys. So that is the categories XML. Uh, that is the meat and potatoes of all this. And uh, yeah, so these other XMLs that you see here, what we've got to do is uh, you've got to select which, um, which systems are arcades. So this took a lot of time and uh, you could probably just, uh, you know, review the XMLs that I'll be providing. You can update as you will. But I put the year and the genre, so these are all the arcades uh, systems. Uh, edit as you will. Uh, you'll see that I've got a bliss box uh, uh, item for every wheel, so I can quickly 
swap out controllers if I need to and just press that wheel to uh, you know launch the reset uh, via auto hotkey uh, and I've got hyper search as well uh, on every wheel so uh, it's really seamless guys you guys have already seen the video I know you guys all love it I love it uh, and you'll do that for each one of these XMLs uh, you're again everything's got to be perfect with the notepad plus uh, plus and I'm not going to go through each one of these but you kind of get the idea uh, we've got hyper search uh, we've got the systems that we care about uh, classic arcades I just wanted the arcade favorites and the MAME as a nested wheel and I, I can deal with all the genres within that MAME wheel um, just like what you guys have on your current system today uh, but yeah that that's it guys uh, just update the categories uh, as you will, and then modify each one of these XMLs if you choose to modify uh, that categories. Um, also, that all XML, you're gonna wanna make sure that it does have all your systems in it, because if it's not populated there, it won't populate in any other XML. So that's it, guys. Uh, that is uh, uh, how you set up the main menu changer. It only took about 30 minutes so i apologize for the length guys i will uh throw in the the plug here that when you're modifying the media you're going to go to uh, media and you're going to go to main menu just like what you would normally do and you're going to uh, put in the videos the themes uh you're going to see that i've got an arcade uh let's see there's arcades arcade favorites uh and that, that's just how it populates so uh, I'll have a later video that kind of captures all of these uh, um, startup videos for the categories uh, created by, uh, you know, James Baker. He's a really talented guy. He's uh, trying to get his YouTube video um, channel up and running, uh, but he does top quality work. I recommend the subscribe. But uh, that's all we got uh, for the main menu changer. I'll show off again uh, the main menu changer. Uh, we'll open up, uh, we'll say name. Uh, so here we go, guys. So we got that intro video. Oh, sweet. We go to our... Let's find your all time favorite game arcades. Arcades. That was the video Launching. we just saw. Launching. Here we go. So again, had those apps open. Already gave the warning. Uh, not a big deal. It happens Good to sometimes. have you back, retro yeah. gamer. So I can go Mame. into Mame here. Loading Mame. And I can go into the genres. Area fifty one. Uh, just like I normally would. System uh, genre wheel active. So yeah, and there's some more lovely artwork that I created. But oh yeah, there's one more thing, guys, Area and then I promise it's over. Uh, should be done by the thirty minute mark. Uh, Let's, let's race here. So on a hyper, I mean, we gotta keep going back. Got one more wheel. Good to have you. Sorry guys, it's dark, so I'm kinda trying to push the right Choose buttons. From a list of all systems supported all regardless right. of category. Now that we got Game through that. Mode. Um, so the last thing that I gotta show you guys, um, when you go to uh, Hyper HQ, uh, we're going to go to that uh, startup and uh, exit uh, tab, just like what we saw before in the prior videos. The exit program is now going to be the main menu changer MMC exit EXE. Uh, so that's all we got, guys. Uh, I promised uh, I'd be below 30 minutes. Uh, good luck, guys. Uh, leave comments uh, below when you need help, and uh, please subscribe. Uh, have a good day. Bye.